say goodbye Never gonna tell a lie Hurt you We've known each other for so long Your heart's been aching but you're too shy to say
I could take you for a ride. I had a premonition that we fell into the rhythm, but music don't stop for life. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eyes, shine just the way I like. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you meet me in the perfect time. You want me, I want you, baby. My sugar boo, I'm levitating. My sugar boo, I'm levitating the Milky Way. We're running, getting yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. You too. 
just, just. Good, sir. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Ian Liversidge. I'm very proud to be the uh, principal at the school here. I wanted to share with you some of the things that have happened in the last 10 days because we've had a couple years of, of things not happening or happening in a very different way. 10 days ago, we had student-led conferences here. We had probably a good 500 people in and out in the evening. Uh, Later that week, we celebrated, we had what we call a fun night. So it was an opportunity to raise funds, a little bit of a, a twist on a school dance, but we had about 150 kids that came back to the school until nine at night. Yesterday, we had seven teams in here playing volleyball. So I counted about 300 people that were in and out of the gym playing volleyball. We had two soccer teams at away games. Last night, we had a school dance. We had 190 kids at that school dance. And tonight we get to celebrate a night of music. It's amazing when school communities come back and regrow and rebirth after this time of change and transition. All of those things, you know, happen in this, in this land that we live. And one of the other things that we're working on is that spirit of reconciliation within our community as part of sort of the national initiatives. So with that, we always ask that our teachers start classes with, and I will start this with, uh, the opportunity to recognize and acknowledge that we are meeting today, we are celebrating, we are enjoying music on the traditional and unceded land of both the Keitsi and Kwantlen First Nations. Uh, we also recognize the diversity that is among us, including many Métis, Inuit, and others. It's a land that I enjoy, it's a land that I live on, it's a land I've raised my children on, and it's a place that we all live and enjoy. So with that in mind, first up, Mr. Kirkpatrick, I believe. I would like to introduce Mr. Kirkpatrick, Miss Bell, and all that is Garibaldi, plus special guests this evening for a night of music in the fall. Thank you very much. That's just to replace the third number that accidentally made it onto the program because I forgot to take it off. So we're going to kick off tonight with Sue's Blues and Ruben and Rachel's Swing. Uh, two easy jazz starts to get them started. Yes, it's not quite a traditional looking jazz band, but they keep wanting to take the class, so how am I going to say no? So here is Sue's Blues and Ruben and Rachel's Swing with the Junior Jazz.
And now, Sue's Blues. Did I say Sue's Blues? I meant Ruben and Rachel. I swear I know what I'm doing. Okay, while we do a quick switch, we have our grade eight band over here. They've been playing their instruments for maybe four weeks, something like that, right? I don't know, maybe five. I can't keep track, but this is our grade eight band. They just started recently. We're going to play four songs for you that are also totally wrong in the program. Um, so the first one, what's it called? Time for Band? Time for Band, I think you'll really appreciate this song very complicated, hard song to play. Time for band. So that was number one in their book, and it sounds a lot better now than it did the first time they actually did play that. So that was time for band. Our next song is another song that I'm sure you're going to recognize. I almost wonder if I should introduce it, but since it's not on the program, this is Hot Cross Buns, because what's a concert without that? Hot Cross Buns.
number you heard from the whole band, and then you heard from our brass section and our bass player, and then our woodwinds, and back to the whole band again. So hopefully you notice that difference. Our next ones, we're kind of taking you through the book a little bit here. So that was like week two-ish, maybe, something like that. Now we're into, okay, this is not week two anymore, there's more notes. This is um, another favorite, Old McDonald's had a band. And then we have one more song. This is a song that these guys over there are gonna recognize because they played it when they were grade eights. So this is a song titled what? I don't know. I don't know. There you go. This is in the program, so figure this one out. I D K. And also, we have a few students in this group that are not actually in grade eight. We have, where did Ethan go? Did he run away? Ethan ran away. He just played drums in the last piece for us. He's not in grade eight. And then we have another person over here on horn. He's not in grade eight. And we have um, Kevin over here, yes, on clarinet. He's not in grade eight, but he's playing a different instrument. And then another guy back there that was just playing flute. He's not in grade eight either. We have student aides in this class that are super helpful and help us get, you know, organized or try to help us get organized. <laughs> anyway, we welcome and thank those students for being in the group as well. This is IDK from the Grade 8 Band. And there's some solos in this song, but they don't want me to tell you who.
Okay, up next is our grade nine junior concert band. Pretty sure the songs in the program are correct now. So, I'm not gonna introduce everything. This first one features, um, no, this isn't the feature yet. The second one features some strange noises that you'll hear. So our first song is Zombie Tango. Enjoy. Just picture zombies dancing. It's, Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, you heard some uh, interesting noises in that one from our trombone section. Did you hear them? Yeah, no kidding, right? They've got some sound. So in this next one, Haunted Hollow, it's a really rhythmic piece. And a week ago, I was like, oh, have I done something bad here and given this a song that's too hard? But fingers crossed, we will be great. This one features in one section a very strange, I don't know, ghostly noises. I know from an instrument you heard that I just talked about. So you're gonna hear um, some interesting sounds from the back row in our haunted hollow.
Okay, we also have a few student aides in this class, um, thankfully, because there's a lot of stuff to get done every day, and um, they help keep us organized. And one of them's gonna come uh, conduct a song. So, student aides, wave at them. So Zayden and Tessa and Aiden, Aiden's gonna come conduct Blue Rock. This is, um, <laughs> I told them when I gave it out, this song I used to give out at band retreat once in a while, and I remember one band retreat in grade eight, the clarinet parts are super high, and the poor child, oh. I told them I actually made her cry because of the part, but they haven't cried, so that's good news. This is Blue Rock, our last number from our grade nine band. Nobody's gonna cry, it'll be okay, except Aiden maybe. Do you wanna say anything, Aiden? No, okay. <laughs> Blue Rock, enjoy.
All right, we're ready for our next group. Um, this is our senior jazz band. You saw a junior jazz band at the start of the concert. A lot of the students in junior jazz are in grade eight and nine, mostly. Um, and then the senior jazz is mostly 10, well, it's all 10, 11, 12, I think. Do I have any grade nines this year? No, I do. There's always somebody who has to, you know, make me think. So grade 10 to 12, but a couple grade nines that wanted the challenge. So this is one song that you get from us. It's an Elton John tune called I'm Still Standing. After that, you're gonna hear from Golden Years Jazz, which is a community jazz band, because a fall concert without Thriller, I don't know, just seems like we should have that. So senior jazz first, solos, who do we have? You'll see a flute player stand up. So Zayden, I'm gonna say it now, I won't forget. Okay, so Zayden is on flute over here. Like Mr. Kirkpatrick said, this is not typical jazz band because most jazz bands would have saxes, trumpets, trombones, rhythm section. We just go, eh, come play. So we end up having a lot more students in jazz band than what a traditional jazz band looks like, but it's more fun that way. So in this song, Zayden's gonna do a solo. And do we have Ashton and Ethan and Zayden. Can you guys stand for a sec? These guys, I won't make you stand forever. See these guys? So these guys were in um, a group last week. You can sit if you want now, just so you don't have to stand the whole time. These guys were in a group last week that was, it's called the BC Honor Wind Ensemble. I have to say it right. So the BC Honor Wind Ensemble, it was an auditioned group across BC of students in high school. And they went and rehearsed for three days. Like when I say days, I mean like eight hours and then put a concert on at the end of that. But they auditioned back in April, they were accepted to be in the group, and then got that really awesome experience of playing with some of the best players across BC. So I think we should give them a little recognition for that, yeah? And if you think about the percentage for a sec, because I did the math already, I was like, hmm. So there were about 70-ish people in the band. Three of them were from Garibaldi. I'm just saying, like, that's pretty good when it's across BC. So next year we're gonna have, what, Finn, you said you're gonna be in there next year, right? First Finn. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. So we'll get more in there for next year. <laughs> it was a super cool experience and a really great concert. This is I'm Still Standing.
Okay, as these guys get set up here, I just want to let you guys know that over here at the table, if you look over there to our lovely assistants, they're waving around bags of cookies. These are homemade delicious cookies that you want to buy. It's only $2 for a bag of two, and all the proceeds go to GSS Music. So don't all rush over at the same time, but uh, maybe all rush over at the same time and make sure you grab a bag or five of cookies before the night is over and see what else we have over there because everything that we have, the proceeds goes to GSS Music. So your kids, your family members um, are benefiting from that. So thank you guys so much. Okay. So Golden Years Jazz is a group that some of you haven't seen for a few years. If you've been part of the music program for a while, you may have seen them at our annual dessert and dance event that we haven't done in three years. But that's coming. It's going to be in February. So this is my plug. You guys can think ahead. February 11th, it's a Saturday night. Dessert and dance. It's going to be live music from our jazz bands. Golden Years Jazz Band, dancing, dessert, and it's not going to be in our school cafeteria this year. It's going to be at the Albion Community Center. I know. It's going to be exciting. If you haven't visited that, that venue yet, it's quite a lovely venue. So Golden Years Jazz never gets a chance to play Thriller because Thriller is kind of one of those pieces you got to do at this time of year, right? Yeah. So if you don't know it, Michael Jackson's Thriller, arranged by somebody that isn't Michael Jackson, that I don't know right now. <laughs> it's on the program, right? Enjoy Golden Years Jazz doing Thriller. And then we're gonna hear from our senior concert band right after that.
So that nice swing tune you were listening to is going to get you totally in the mood for the next song. This next tune is, um, sorry, this next group is our senior concert band. Um, other than our jazz bands, they're the only, the only group we have right now that gets to be linear. Which means they get to start in September and go till June. What a great idea! So, um, our senior band meets every second day right now, is the way their schedule works. And um, they're going to do a couple songs for you. This first one is called Arachnophobia and Fugue. And I kind of wanted to have a giant spider hanging above us, but I was told that some people are scared of spiders, so we probably shouldn't. So you can just like imagine it, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> So this is Arachnophobia and Fugue. This one kind of features um, an instrument near the back, but I don't want to like make her feel anxious. But this has a xylophone, and you have to imagine that the xylophone is a spider. And then you're going to hear somebody trying to chase the spider and trying to hit, kill the spider, I guess. Hit the spider anyway, right? So you're going to hear some really cool sounds in this one. Arachnophobia and Fugue. Okay, first note and hold it, and... Okay, I'm going to be in tune. 
Did you hear the spider? Hmm. It died, do you think? Maybe. Kind of stomped on it. Okay, they're also, I did not plan it this way, it just happened this way. They're going to play another song now called March of the Arachnids. It's like a theme or something. Um, and then we're going to have Fraser Valley Wind Ensemble come on up and play a few tunes for you too. So, Fraser Valley Wind Ensemble, are you just kind of everywhere right now? Yeah. All right, just make sure they can get through. All right, so this is March of the Arachnids. There's probably a spider in here too. There's also a shoe fly. You'll hear this.
Ladies and gentlemen, just while the band is, you guys can keep playing, I think they can kind of hear me. I just want to quickly acknowledge some of the people that helped make tonight possible. So, the very busy parents over there on that side, thank you so much for all that you do. If it wasn't for the parent committee, oh my goodness. Uh, there's a few of them hiding up front here too, they might want to stand up real quick. Please, these guys up here in the front as well. Nana, come on. Thank you. Um, without the parent, oh, and we got one more. And actually, this is Wendy over here. Wendy had her debut tonight on the cowbell. Uh, we also really need to thank uh, Richard and Tim for being here. Uh, Tim doesn't even have any kids in the program anymore. That's becoming a common thread within our parent committee. Oh, true. Jesse is here tonight. That's true. Um, so, uh, th big thank you to Richard and uh, Tim for doing the sound, and they're also doing the live stream, so people's grandparents and all that. Anyway, yeah, give them a round of applause, please. And then, there was someone else I was supposed to thank, and I completely forget who it was. Miss Bell, who else was I supposed to thank? I did that. Did that. Oh, thank you for being here to support your kids. Without them, I wouldn't be employed. All right, so to get things rolling, I'm going to hand the microphone over to uh, Rob Gardner over here. He's going to quickly introduce the band so I can grab my horn and play and stop talking. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Duane. My name's Rob Goddard, and I'm the conductor of the Fraser Valley Wind Ensemble. Uh, this uh, group of fine individuals 
uh, we come together once a week on Monday nights to play music. And our main objective is, is to uh, play at the highest possible level and to play the best possible music. And uh, I think all of our, all of our um, colleagues here do a fantastic job of that. Talk is cheap, so we'll hopefully show you in just a second. Uh, our first piece this evening is going to be a um, Paso Doble. How many of you know what a Paso Doble is? Wow. Oh, you watched that. So you cheated. You watched the Dancing with the Stars. Uh, which actually, you know what? Those dance shows, I learned a lot. Not so much Dancing with the Stars, but the So You Think You Can Dance. Um, it was really quite fascinating to hear the, the similarities between dance and music. Now, I was warned before we came out not to be too verbose. Two, two of our members reminded me, don't be too verbose. So I'd like to talk about that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, the first song we're going to play after our tuning note is called Amparito Roca. And it is indeed a Paso Doble, which is a Spanish style march. Any questions? <laughs> tuning note and then Amparito Roca. Start over with the A.
Are we back on? I think we are. I'd like to introduce Ms. Jill Sparrow Ng, who's uh, my helper this year as co-conductor. And uh, so give her a warm welcome. I'll let her introduce our next song. Thank you, Rob. Our next piece is going to be Flourish for Wind Band, written by Ralph Vaughan Williams. Vaughan Williams was a British composer who composed for a variety of different kinds of ensembles, purposes, genres. Um, he was an avid collector of folk songs, many of which were the centerpieces of his most beloved pieces for uh, wind ensemble. Composed as an overture to the pageant for music and the people and was first performed in the Royal Albert Hall in London on April 1st, 1939. So this piece, Flourish for Wind Band, was written specifically for that event. Uh, this piece begins and ends with a fanfare um, started by Antiphonal Brass, Brass where the trombones and, and French horns are talking back and forth with the trumpets. Those of you, I think you have IB music in this school. The antiphonal is one of those words you want to know. As I taught it for years, so that is one of those IB words. Um, and uh, the, the middle section is uh, indicative of uh, Vaughn Williams' lyric folk song style. So here's Flourish for Wind Band. Thank you. Our next piece will be uh, Who Will But Let Himself Be Guided, written by Johann Sebastian Bach, arranged by Alfred Reed. Um, this piece is based on a Lutheran chorale melody, uh, which is transla also translated from the German, uh, If Thou But Suffer God to Guide Thee. It was a favorite chorale tune of Bach's, having said it at least 14 times. 
uh, and in chor chorale preludes, inventions, and cantatas. Here, the setting is in a chorale prelude, which is a musical form where the chorale me melody is interspersed on top of um, some very beautiful and intricate uh, counterpoint. The tension and release of the counterpoint are musical representation of the text, which describes the journey through life's joys and sorrows, leading to a glorious resolution and redemption at the end. Originally written for organ, which was Bach's instrument, of course, it was transcribed by American composer Alfred Reed for Wind Ensemble. Uh, the piece begins with the weaving counterpoint of the woodwinds and low brass with the chorale melody in the French horns and trombones soaring out at different times over the ensemble. So here is Who Will But Let Himself Be Guided.
All right, I think we're still on here. So that was the solemn part of our program. We're going to conclude the Fraser Valley Wind Ensemble portion with the exception of our collaboration. Um, the last part of our set is a piece called Sevens. And Sevens refers to uh, the number seven, but in various different ways. So for example, some of the intervals in this piece of music are intervals of seven. So if you jump from, uh, for example, from a C down below up to a B above it, that's a seven note interval or a seven note gap. Also relating to time, the time signature of this piece is all over the map. It starts with a, an 1116 bar. Um, and then it alternates between 1116 and seven, there's that number again, between 1116 and 716. Um, and there's some other mystical, magical uh, references to the number seven. I'm not gonna go through them all right now, but it is, it is a very clever work, and if for no other reason than its kind of rock and roll vibe, I think you'll enjoy this piece entitled Sevens. And this is by one of my favorite composers, Samuel Hazo.
I'll leave the last words at the end to Ms. Bell and Mr. Kirkpatrick. Uh, part of the journey, part of band is a journey. It's starting young and finishing younger. I got gotcha. you. Um, and I think what really good schools do is give kids an opportunity to see things. And I think what really great schools do and great programs do is inspire kids. So I think that today you've seen the pathway to what can become greatness. And I'm forever thankful when I walk the hallways for the roughly 100 staff we have here. 
And although I will admit I don't go up the stairwell as often as I should to visit in music, Miss Bell, Mr. Kirkpatrick, Mr. Pickle, I know you come to me. Um, I'm very fortunate and blessed to have them in our, our building. So with that, I'd ask you to offer a round of applause to our adult leaders. Inspiration comes from seeing people do things really, really well. Uh, Fraser Valley Wind Ensemble, thank you. I'm honored to have heard you and listened to you today. Uh, Golden Ears Jazz Band, of course, I will be there for stuff that has dessert and food and good things. Uh, without further ado, though, uh, last bit to Miss Bell and the Mass Bands. Thank you. your B flat for any of you just the tuning note listen first <laughs> Mr. Kirkpatrick already did because it feels like it was 20 years ago. But big thank yous to all our team that made this concert happen tonight. Not just the people you see here helping out during the concert because that's awesome, but we had a huge crew of students set up this gym this afternoon. We were actually set up by 4 o'clock and we started at like 2.50. So big thank yous to everyone who, ha who helped out and our team captains that were helping out bossing people around and making sure things happen quickly. Thank you to the rest of you, obviously, for being here too, because without you, concerts are kind of boring. I know this, we've done it. <laughs> so thank you for being here tonight at our fall first concert of the year. We have another concert on December 6th. Yay, how many weeks away is that? I don't know, <laughs> soon. I know, right? You're gonna hear such a difference even just in that, whatever, four or five weeks between now and December. Trust me. We won't play number one in the book anymore, promise. Number two, yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is a mass band piece that we're going to do with our senior concert band and Fraser Valley Wind Ensemble called Juxtaposition. And um, it's kind of a rhythmic piece. Apparently I picked a lot of rhythmic pieces for tonight. Um, they've never played this piece together. So we'll see how it goes. I've conducted both bands, so maybe, maybe it'll be okay. Are there any cookies left? Yeah. Buy cookies on your way out. Oh, and students are going to help clean up. I have a bet with Mr. Kirkpatrick. My bet, I wrote it upstairs, you can't even argue. The bet is that we will clean out this gym and have everything put away by 9.30. It is 10 to 9. We got this, people. So if you want to make sure that um, you get your child out of here sooner, help clean up. The chairs, the blue chairs get stacked onto carts. They're somewhere around here. And then the other chairs, unfortunately, have to go back to the cafeteria. There's a couple carts there, but make it so we can do it, yeah? By 9.30, so I win. I want to win the bet, okay? Okay. Juxtaposition. I don't remember. It's written down. <laughs> I don't know if we actually bet the thing. Hi, team. A lot of shiny back there. Okay, here we go.
855.50. I have 34 minutes left. Come on, people, let's do this. Clean up. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Good night.